you've seen a few streamers with problematic internet, so yeah, that's that's a problem. It's it's a common problem for streamers, I guess. Um, I mean, if I had a choice, I would not be using the internet provider I have, but I live in an apartment complex, so I don't have a choice. Hopefully, the next place I live will be nicer, and I'll have a choice. Um, so I'm going to hope for that. But I am excited to play some Monster Train because we are basically just doing fun runs now, trying to get... Basically, my goal is to get now get 12, Covenant 25 wins with uh, all the combos. Um, but mainly, I just want to play Wormkin because I haven't played Wormkin in forever. So um, I want to kind of take a look at the Wormkin cards to kind of think about what combo I want to go with. I was thinking of something like Umbra because um, Wormkin has some interesting synergies and playstyles going on with they have the uh, we have like the egg extraction stuff um, yeah with these summon summon things once you work through the shell and all that if I want to eat into your internet it's pretty decent if only I could if only I could perfect insanity extract six fly minus six 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 now it would be interesting to do a build because there's uh, there's stuff that you can do where you have permanent yeah, Eternal Kinstone. Permanent charged echoes that can't be removed. If you get enough of those, you could get like something like this held over and just be able to like kill everything. Be pretty awesome. Um, what's up, Errol? How, how are you doing? Uh, so, Bog Deep Cocoon. Shell 12. Summon a Bog Wormling. Bog Wormling is a 4 capacity unit with Trample 9060. Etch plus 10 plus 10. Okay. So there's some pretty crazy units. This uh, etch plus 5. And etch is uh, whenever a card is consumed. So they have consume synergy with Wormkin. They have the shell thing. And they have the reap thing. You're a bit angry salty, but fine. Except that. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. Why are you, why are you angry salty? Oh, I also want to look at the... Um, I want to look at the two heroes um, to remember what their different upgrade paths are. Uh, Inspire, which is casting a spell, applies Reap 5 to enemy units, so that's kind of an AoE thing. This guy gives plus attack to friendly units, so kind of a tanky unit. Um, so plus attack to units per charge echoes, and this guy has multi-strike. And when he strikes, he gains. So he can get multi-strike on the second one, and he uh, you get char charged echoes from attacks. That's cool. All right. You tried first of kin, haven't had any luck. All right. Uh, this guy has etch, which is consume. A card gets consumed. You apply armor four. You apply armor to your friendly units. Uh. This is the one where um, you remove shells and etches again when you consume a card. And then this guy gives you consume cards back. So a lot of consume synergy with the echo, right? A lot of charged echo synergy with this guy. There are only beep and beep, beep, beeps around you. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like me when I'm driving in Dallas. Uh, all right. Let's try Let's try uh, the Spine Chief. I think he seems a little easier to work around. We get like the multi-strike version, version of him or something. And let's go with... I tried Hellhorn because I was trying to get the alpha strike, uh, the alpha thing going. Let's go with like Umbra. I feel like there's some synergy you could do with, like, shells and um, morsels and stuff. Which version? Do I want planks or do I want shade splitters? Probably shade splitters, I guess. Although these are damage. These are better early game. They're all things that we want to eventually get rid of, probably. Um, I mm, Let's see. Let's try plank. Let's go with this. You censored yourself. I understand, Arrowhell. I, I have to do that sometimes myself. 
and sometimes I fail at doing it. All right, extract gives you health. I like that. Uh, rage three, ember drain two, two friendly units. Okay. Deal five damage to enemy units per charged echoes. All right, we've got some interesting spell choices here. Links are better early game. Well, when you have enemies that have one health, they do something at least. Okay, so this is the one that I think... No, no, neither of these are the multi-strike one. But this is the one that um, he buffs friendly units. This is more AoE. And Inspire is when you gain charged echoes on the floor. So this is AoE. This is buff your friends. Buff your friends. Um, if we want to get a good unit behind this guy that we buff, this is good. If we want to have some early AoE damage to back lines, this is good. Let's go with the Spine Chief, I guess. What's up, Vega? How are you doing? Okay, when you play your 20th Morsel unit of the battle, deal 150 damage to enemy units on all floors. Wow, okay. Does this count... If you get Morsel Makers, I wonder. I think it might. Um, uh, let's see here. Am I going to be able to get a lot of Morsels is the question. Because currently it's only Plinks that we have for it. You think it does count towards those? We do this and all of our Morsels just have more health, which could be, could be useful. 20th Morsel. That's a lot of Morsels. Um, probably going to go Umbra here. Oh, man. Let's try it. Who knows if I can actually make that work. So, we want to try to do a Morsel-focused build, I guess. That's the, that's the goal here. If I can do that. All right, what do we draw here? So, do, 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 do. I'm probably, man, if I had drawn a single plank, it would have been huge. We drew no planks, so this kind of sucks. Um, Let's see here. All right, so if I'm going to let you just die, I can have you absorb the Ember Drain. Um, I don't want to put Ember Drain on you since I don't have Holdover on this yet. So what I'm going to do is this. And I'm going to be able to give you extra health. Your extra attack doesn't matter right now. And I guess we do this. Ember Drain 2 would mean we'd have... One ember next turn, so unless I drew the perils of production, we would not be looking super good, so. Yeah, let's do that, I guess. Look at all this ember I can't use. Why can't I hold all this ember? Here we go. Plinks, that's what I like to see. Okay, and so if I play a morsel, um... It will get the uh, Ember Drain. Cool. And that'll get consumed. Let's give you a Life Steal. And let's see, is there a floor I can play you? If you get a Damp, you get, yeah, so let's do this. Is that what I want to do? All these morsels. Yeah, but I don't want I don't want him to get killing blows, so let's do it this way. Okay. That's right. All the all the beautiful sounds of all the beautiful uh little whatever they're called, morsels. Nice, nice, okay. Uh, let's see here. This will do 10 damage to enemy units. Alright, Plink's failed. Big frickin' surprise. Okay. 
But that's okay. Kill you. Oh, you were dead already anyway. And then we can do this. Alright, they're all dead. They're all dead. That's interesting. He's even giving morsels uh, attack and stuff, so that's really nice. Do that, then that. And... After combat. Okay, so I can kill this guy off, right? Very nice. The contrition kind of sucks, but we're looking pretty strong right now. I can do this. This top floor is full of those, so I can get some more reap on you. Not too shabby. Yeah, I think, I think we're pretty strong. I think we've... Pretty strong here, yeah. Very nice. This. This. Just a pretty strong uh, champion starting out. Okay, alright. Fogfly. Um, what is your essence? Five attack and health per charged echo. The infused one. Infused, attuned. Extract two, deal 50 damage to the front enemy unit. All right, attuned means it gets uh, multiplied the effects of magic power by five, so this really benefits highly from magic power. This guy, I don't know that I really want to do a consume thing. I feel like I might want to do a consume attempt maybe on the next run when I use the other hero. We're trying to do things that give us morsels. I, uh... I didn't really get morsels there. This this we could possibly make use of though. Yeah, because it's uh because it's what is it called in uh infused, yeah. This is pretty good. So it's really technically extract one, like you said. Extract one for fifty damage to the front enemy unit. Is probably worth. But Bogfly, I feel like it's a pretty good unit too. Let's let's take the infusion cards. Oh, an infused morsel miner. Yes. Although I like this a lot too. Oof, why couldn't you be infused? But this does play around our shadow box here. I'm gonna take that. Alright, and then we're looking for morsel makers if we're gonna try to play around the shadow box. Um, so if we get like a morsel maker that we can upgrade or something. Alright, let's go here. Yeah, definitely Umber Banner, I think. Alright, we got a multi-strike in here. Okay, well, neither of you are Morsel Miners, but one of you benefits from having Morsels, the Crucible Collector. Uh, and he is infused. Actually, both of you gain our, uh, benefit from that. Not the best units, honestly. Not the best units. Do I just take the infused one with the lifesteal in it? Uh, one thing is I could put multi-strike in him, although lifesteal gorging... Lifesteal stacking with multi-strike isn't as nearly as good as... Um, trample, because you use up your lifesteal stacks quickly. But we could do this with the extra multi-strike. Problem is, I don't know if we quite have enough morsels to feed him yet. Because our only source of morsels are plinks and then the making of morsel I just got. I'm a little worried about having enough morsels to feed this guy. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to put multi-strike on him. I don't know that I love it, but I think that's my best choice right now. Um, plus attack per those. I don't think I want that. All right, and we could infuse a something into a something into a something if we want. Do I want intrinsic on anything? An intrinsic making of a morsel could be pretty darn good, actually. I have a guaranteed morsel turn one. Especially if I made this holdover. A guaranteed morsel miner every turn. Or if I did an intrinsic on perils of production. 
and then got holdover on it, then we could uh, then we could stack this like crazy, and we wouldn't worry about the ember drain. That's very interesting too. Intrinsic holdover means I have rage three, gain three ember every turn. Which means we stack ember drain like crazy, but we're also stacking rage. Do I like that? Do I like that? I think. Oh, the question really is, do I really want to try to play around Shadow Box and try to make enough morsels to, to really get this thing to happen? This is only one morsel every turn. I feel like it would be better to have that on one of the things that adds multiple morsels to your hand. So I think I'm actually going to make Intrinsic on, on this. And I'm going to try to get Holdover on it. That's what I'm going to try to do. Try to go for that. Problem is I have it intrinsic this turn uh, without the holdover, so I need to be careful about what unit I put it on. Right, so you are enchanting spikes. Okay. Right, as long as you kill one, I'll be happy. Okay, good. That means I can play you here. Uh, I can't play both of I want to play both of you on the same floor. Um, okay, I guess I'm going to have to play you on different floors here then. Right? Like, because uh, I wanted to buff him, but I can't give you morsels because you're both too big. Going to need capacity and fast? Yeah, for sure. I agree. You guys have mine for... Uh, okay, I'm just going to let you die. Okay. There you go. Have some rage, sir. Okay. Come on, plank hit him. Okay. Just cannot seem to hit that guy for whatever reason. That was a good hit. Alright, what do we got? Damage shield. Yeah, let's give you damage shield. Actually, let's give you all of these. I'm just give you all of them. You're my carry right now. Carry me to victory, sir. You'll die. And you can block six attack. Okay. Plus two a middle floor would be nice, or the event that gives a free capacity everywhere. Yeah, or just one of the cars I passed on earlier that gives you um, gives you capacity would be nice too as well. So lots of lots of good things we could find. Um, let's do this. So we're infusing this floor. Everything would be nice. There's so many things that would be so nice. So many things would be nice. So, this will kill all the back line. I would like to see if this hits the back girl to give us a thing. It did. Wow. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to give you rage. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Okay. Uh, interesting. So as long as I have one, I can do this, right? Nice. Okay. Play this here just to infuse that. And there you go. Okay. Free halberd beam on the front of the train would be nice. That's right. That would be awesome. <laughs> All right, you chump block for me, bro. And you have some rage. And this, this, and this. Okay. All right. I don't know if the uh, other plans are just weaker, but holy crap. 
Wormkin feels strong early compared to some of the other clans I've been playing lately. All right, there's another bog fly. Uh, apply armor per charge echo to friendly units. That could be nice. Um, am I going to get capacity here? It's here that I get capacity, I think. Or get to choose what I go for. And capacity is probably what I go for. Um, I didn't even see how many mortals I got up to there. I'm trying to think what I want to infuse into this guy if he's going to be my carry. If I'm going to be infusing a floor like like with a lot of stuff but he's giving him attack per charged echo he would get attack and health per charged echo i feel like bog fly into that's pretty good um i think i am still looking for um merchant of uh not merchant um Morsel Maker. The armor could be very good. I'm going to take this. Use Lifesteal and Ember Drain. Well, again, if we get that holdover, this, the Ember Drain isn't going to matter too much. I'm naturally get to the Worm Kim and return. Do you have a hard time with melting? I guess so. Maybe that's right. Do we care about Entumbral Assault? This is kind of good for Shadow Box. For more morsels. But I kind of feel like Shadow Box isn't really going to be that useful of a thing. Maybe is this a skip? I do like uh, Damage Shield, though. Damage Shield's really good. I'm going to take that. Alright, we got a Morsel Maker. So, my hope... Oh man, this guy's infused. Uh, what I was thinking, if I get Morsel, Macer, Morsel Master, Morsel Maker, I've never gotten both of those on the same run so that I can put this guy's essence inside a Morsel Maker. I really just, I want to make that combo happen. And if I can do that with one more capacity, I can play this guy, this guy, and the Morsel Maker with a Morsel Master infused into him on the same floor. So I'm looking for basically just a Morsel Maker. To get the infusions going. Quick. Ooh, I like quick. Okay, alright. We have Morsel Maker, we have Morsel Master. I know what my first infusion is gonna be. So with one capacity, and this guy inside of this guy, he's gonna summon. There's gonna be three guys on the floor, and he's gonna summon four. And you're gonna be in the front to eat all those. Did I get the bog fly to infuse? I didn't. Now we're going to be infusing like crazy on this floor. Okay. And I want quick on this guy that he attacks before other dudes get to attack. Uh, which will hopefully save him some health, I think. Alright, that's what we're going to go for. Okay. Um, I want to give health to the morsel maker. Actually, let me see here. What's the infusion of this guy? Resolve plus stats. It's pretty good, too. I won't worry about this guy. He's a little costly. But we do have... We're hoping to get the holdover on the thing that gives us Ember. So... Let's give him some help. Okay. And with that, if they're summoning for a turn... In five turns, we will be able to do this from the turn that we've summoned that. So, all right, all right. We have we have a chance to have a kind of crazy broken build, I think. Oh, rail spike. All right. I like Awokens because it's draw and ember. We don't like burnout. Um, sugar feeding's really good though too, actually. Trigger feeding is really good. I feel like I probably still want the, just the draw. 
the draw and stuff. I'm gonna go with the Awokens. Umbra, we can still find a Shroud Spike still. Because we are, are playing Umbra. Okay. So after this, we definitely need to go Capacity. Assuming we win with our low shards, shouldn't be an issue. Am I gonna get to um, Infuse next floor? I am. Okay, good. Alrighty then. I gotta figure out which floors I wanna set up as a thing. Because I don't have the capacity yet and we have a couple extra units. We have 40 health. If I do this, we'll summon morsels, two morsels next turn, so we'll have a two space left. Six four for ten. It would have been much nicer if we had summoned the Morsel, if we got the Morsel Master before the Morsel Maker for this one. Shame we aren't allowed to reset what we do in between fights. What do you mean? I just don't think I can play this guy on the same floor as the other guy. So how about we do, yeah, how about we do this? I'm going to have Ember Drain, too, if I do this. Rage doesn't do a lot for us. So I'm going to not play that. Kind of a dead card for us currently with that one. Okay. All right, so this is going to give armor. Okay, well, that was not great. Do, 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 do. Definitely, definitely want to infuse this floor. This is a free armor on all our units on this floor, but if I do that, I won't be able to put the Morsel Master, which I want to do, so... You explode for 10, so you absorb that. And summon two of these guys. Okay. Okay. I need my main carry unit. There he is. Beautiful. I need to infuse this floor. I'm going to draw one. Not great, but... <laughs> really not great. Uh, but I can get the ember by just doing this. some extra health here. Thanks for making that zero cost card free. That's so useful. Thanks, FTL. Thanks. Damn, didn't hit that guy, but that's okay. Now we do kill everything. He takes five damage. I just don't have any morsels. I've got nine morsels so far. So it looks like it is counting these morsels, which is great. After this floor, we're going to be... After this fight, we should be really, really strong. I believe, anyway. Kind of just want to get this guy out of my hand. Backline guy dies. You only lose one health somehow. I guess because you're gaining more than you're getting hit by. Well, almost as much as you're getting hit by. Still want to do this. Okay, very nice. Yeah, I want to do that because then you'll get life steal. Um, so this has cost me one, and we'll make it so you take no damage, right? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, plus the six from the Morsel, yeah. 
Okay. Pretty good damage here. We got some damage shields. Um, so if I extract, they do less damage. I can just get five damage shields. That might actually be enough to kill him. 576. Beautiful. Okay. And uh, you have some health. I might actually get to kill him with train stewards next floor. Wouldn't that be fun? It's pretty crazy. Uh, Morsel's on this floor doing 20 damage because of the, the buff he has. Yep, that kills him. Beautiful. We actually we get within three of killing him with the shadow box here. That would have been pretty cool. Okay. Die from my train stewards. All right, what do we got? Extract five, double buffs and armor on a unit. Interesting. Buffs are life steal, damage shield, rage, etc. Ah, this gives us an extra slot. I like that one, especially because it's infused. Oh, but there's trample. Ooh, this is a tough choice. Do I want a, a whole bunch of extra charged echoes? That works well with this guy's buff. But trample on our main carry will be insane. Those are both really, really good. Like, stinking good. I think it's just trample, though. Trample's just too freaking strong. Another morsel maker. Um, so this next floor I am putting morsel master into morsel maker. With the extra capacity, my floor is morsel maker behind spine chief behind crucible collector. Who's going to get buff like crazy with four morsels a turn. Um, do I even want to set up another floor? Because that's a really strong floor that is just probably done. Um, oh, if I, that might be my infusion. I infuse him into, infuse him into him, which means he's inert, but he gets an extra multi-strike. So that gives him one turn of spin up, but once he's spun up, he's gonna have. Yeah, I think that's our infusion right there. Yes, let's do it, and then we do capacity. That doesn't give extra capacity to that unit, though, right? I don't think it does. Okay, Merchant of Magic, because I'm looking for holdover on the. Uh, our intrinsic thing as well, because we'd be able to stack rage. Or I go for removal, because we need need both. I wish Wormkin was swapped with removal here. Yeah, the inert shouldn't matter. It'll matter for the first turn, because it means you won't be able to attack the first turn you deploy him. That's the one issue. But I don't think it's much of an issue. Um, how many chances are we going to get for removal? The Merchant of Trinkets next floor with removal. Merchant of Steel with removal. Just deal with removal. All right, let's take the Merchant of Magic this floor. Hey, what's up, uh, Pun PCK? You love my streams. You wanted to check out my stream schedule, but the one in the info section seems to be outdated. Yeah, I, it's it's it changes so often that I don't often update it as quickly as as much as I should. Currently, Mondays, Wednesdays, FTL. That's always the same. Um, right now, I'm playing Tuesdays and Fridays Subnautica, and Thursday, Sunday, I'm playing Monster Train. Uh, Carnifen Carnifenix, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. So, I apologize. You are right. It's not up to date. Okay, plus 10, or I just get free charged echoes. I think I just want the free charged echoes. I mean, the plus 10, because that's going to buff our guy up even more. This gives him a lot more attack. Do I care about that? Is the is this the one? Is Strike Gain the one that gives him multi-strike though? Yeah, no problem. I need to update it, but again, I because I don't my schedule kind of changes so often, I just never 
Uh, I don't up keep it up to date as much as I should. So if I choose this one, he will gain a multi-strike. This one, I haven't seen what the top one is. I'm going to guess it's like 20 per charge deco. So he will get multi-strike one on the on the top one, and he will be so which would be giving us two free charged echoes every turn. Okay, so the question is, do I want to buff my main carry more? Who's going to have multi-strike two quick trample? Or do I want to gain more charged echoes? I think we just give more attack to our other guy. I think that's the way to go. Massive stone doesn't seem so bad now. What are you talking about, massive stone? Okay, we're going to be infusing the guy. Yeah, I, th I think it's just better to, to buff him. Um, Spire plus two attack plus two armor. These are both cool, but... We have kind of all of our units, right? I'm just focusing on one floor. The event that gives 40 health, 40 attack, plus two capacity requirements, you think. Okay. Are you talking about that? Which, which unit would I put that on? Because if I put it on this guy, it means I wouldn't be able to play him on the same floor as a Spine Chief. I don't think that would be good. Our floor is pretty much set. Um, so if I take Permafrost and put it on... Like... Umbra stone, that means I wouldn't be able to roll for, for holdover. Um, I definitely want minus cost on Umbra stone, though. If I do minus cost, I don't think from frost is as important. Didn't I have an attuned thing? This one? Yeah. I'm gonna roll because all I want is holdover here. Damn it. Make Umberstone free. That way I can just always play it. Go ahead and do that. Make one plink slightly less useless. Or just make this do 150 damage. Or one extraction. 150 damage. A lot of damage. I like my plinks to be less useless too. I'm gonna do that. All right, and as much as I want to put the inert guy into the other guy, that's gonna have to wait two floors because we need to get our morsel maker set up. So this guy into the morsel maker. This way we can fit everything on the floor we want to fit. So currently we just have an extra unit that we can throw onto another floor with extra morsels we happen to get. I don't think I want anything else intrinsic, and I don't think I want anything minus two cost. Although it would not be bad with this. If I'm going to be... That would give me 50 shards. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to hold off on doing anything else here right now. Yeah, it feels bad. No holdover. Hopefully we can still find it. Spikes. Spikes kills our morsels. We do have quick on the one guy, though, but it also hurts him. Um, he does get lots of life steal. Yes, if you get over 100 shards, like the higher the shards, the more difficult it gets. You need, uh, if you get exactly 100, that unlocks the final boss. Anything over 100 just is extra that makes it more difficult. Spikes, spikes, spikes. So the 6-1, the Magma Morsel, would kill himself on spikes if it attacks. Oh, man, but a, an artifact can be really good. I think I'm going to go for this, man. Hopefully this is not the straw that breaks the camel's back of killing me. What's up, Flurchin? Internet better today? I hope so. 
I'm not going to say anything because you never know. Play this here. We should be, well, we're not guaranteed to grab our Morsel Maker next turn, but we have a decent chance of it. Okay. Give some armor to them. Consumes this card. Um. Sure. Only I had holdover on this guy. I, but I sure hope it is, my friend. I sure hope it is. All right. Well, we are set up. That's great. If I do, if I do this, and then play this, it'll kill him. If I play this guy, 25 health. Reap. Does one damage per stack. Reap two. It's only going to do two, so he doesn't die if I play this guy this turn. If I want to kill him, I need to do this. And this. Okay. After you went offline, your power was out for like an hour. Encore was like, meh. Yeah, I tried to look to see if it was going to tell me why. Um... It went offline, but nothing. I couldn't find anything. I actually couldn't find anything that said why it happened. So my my internet said, your internet is fine. So I was like, okay. He actually does less damage if I do that. But I can make up for it with a plink. They both still die. Okay. I think I want to do. You're you're healing them. Kill you. Need to help. You're not dying, are you? Okay, no. Okay. Floor has reached the seven unit limit. Beautiful. I <laughs> love to see it. They all get eaten because he's quick. So that's great. Um, so now do I just start stacking rage on him? How are you going down in health is the question. I guess it's because of the spikes. He hits so many times there's so many spikes, so I better give you extra health. There you go. Now you don't go down in health. I can play these guys. Okay. It's a lot of spikes, man. It's a lot of spikes. And hopefully his lifesteal will keep him healthy. Goes up in health. Mmm. Love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, I only have one ember, though. So... I either infuse this floor or I get another train steward out of my hand. Goes up to even more attack. Does that mean with his life steal he will does he have life steal up right now? Yes, he has four attacks. I give him life steal. I don't know if infusing will make him do even even more life stealing here. I think I just want to get more dudes out of my hand here. Okay, which guy is it? Is the guy who adds self mutilations? Okay. Okay, not great cards, but all right, it's fine. Um, let's see how we want to do this. Stacking some reap on you is something. Or I infuse this floor. We should be able to infuse this floor anyway. Go ahead and do that. Um, that's a lot of late morsel maker. That sucks. 
Yeah, what, he was like turn three. I mean, it's going to take, until I get rid of more units, it is going to take a couple turns for sure. I think our guy's big enough. He's going to have nine life steal. He's going up 12 health a turn. It's fine. Yeah, we're still, we're still fine. We're still fine. Uh, oh, did it activate? It did. Our shadow box. It only happens one time, apparently, though. Oh, that sucks. Is this only... Oh, well, that's not nearly as good as I thought it was. Man, I should have just taken the plus five health to all units, I guess. Ooh, seven ember turn one. Honestly, our ember turn one is not our issue. It's draw. But it's not bad. All right. Uh, return three random spell cards from the discard pile to your hand and apply consume. Interesting. 15 damage for each. That's a consume thing. Three random spell cards. So this actually helps to pare down your deck, actually. Um... We do have the cons the consume seraph actually. And the spell cards, I consume. It doesn't make them free. It does not make them free though. They're playing the consume seraph. That's going to consume my spells anyway. I don't think I want this. Not really what we're playing around. I have lots of ember. I just need draw, honestly. It's also ember. There's more morsels. I'm not actually going to be able to play extra morsels myself, myself, since we only have one floor we're setting up with the morsel maker. Um, it is a damage shield, but it's an expensive one damage shield. Is our plan is to put this guy into this guy for even more multi-strike and just remove other stuff. I kind of feel like our build's done except for extra damage shields. So I called over on this. Uh, I mean, we would play morsels on other floor. I think I'm just, I think I'm skipping, man. I feel like my deck is almost done. I just need to get rid of junk. So we need to get rid of our um, train stewards, our planks. Uh, actually, might be better to get rid of planks more than train stewards first. Because, uh, again, train stewards are like consume spells. Maybe do one at a time. One train steward, one plank. If nothing else, these are infusions, which is not terrible, but... Yeah, they do give me candy. They give me the little purple infusion. What's up, Azif? How are you doing? Let's do the train stewards, I guess. Let's see what's in here. Nothing I can afford. Badly. It's not bad if you want a little boost on the second draw, but you want some reason for it. Uh, are we talking about one of the cards I was looking at? I like Faulty Loader. This is also very nice as well. So setup is setup our most difficult thing? Oh, the Ember Cash, yeah. Yeah, let's go faulty loader. I like that a lot. Next floor, we're putting the um, alloy construct into the crucible collector, which will give him multi strike two, quick. Uh, the inert thing, but our setup should be good now that we are uh, paring down the deck. Planto Mecco, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Plus six attack. It's a little scary, honestly, because 
Our guy has lifesteal, but not a crap ton of health, honestly. I'm a little worried about this guy's health. I need him to be in front for him to be eating all of the morsels. I wonder if there's any any merit to putting the Spine Chief in front of the Crucible Collector. He is quick, though. With quick, I think he's okay. I think it was only the spikes that were really wrecking him, so. There are the multi-strike guys in the back. I think I'm still going to go for it. You're going to eat a pizza now. I had pizza three days in a row. Nice. Okay. Oh, we're going to have Ember Drain next turn. So let's not add more Ember Drain. I really wish I uh, <laughs> could have gotten a holdover on this already. Yeah, he might fall to burst damage, and that's honestly my worry right now. That is my worry. Do, do, do. I need draw pretty badly because my setup is a pretty long time still. I mean, this floor's done, but I got no ember. So my floors are good, but the ember drains being kind of a pain. So you just die. I don't think there's any way I save. Well, if I kill two units here. Now, yeah. Triggers on death. Triggers on death. There's no way this keeps you alive, right? No. Um. Do you want to consume this? Probably not. My Spine Chief gives an attack based on candy. Yes, he does. I've, he's at level 2 of that, so he's giving 20 attack per the infusion thing. My quick guy is killing a lot of the things. Is he killing all the things? Uh, trample, please tell me that will keep you alive. Beautiful. Okay. 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 Have some armor. There's a little bit of survivability. That guy right there. Who's on death? Okay. Oops. That could work great with the morsel armor you get each turn. I'm hoping. I mean, the armor doesn't transfer, but we do have the the extract to gain armor as well. I got two of those. Or extract to gain health. I mean to say. Okay. I just all the uh, morsel generation I have. Um. How come did that did that happen at the end of that turn? God, this shadow box thing is terrible. It's fine. Get that guy off. That would have been so useful if if it actually worked against this guy. So dumb. <laughs> it's really dumb. It's fine. Ooh, I can get a crap ton of damage shields, though. Yeah, we're doing that. Apply nine damage shield. Let's do let's do eight. Get a little bit of reap on him. Have some damage shields, sure. Nine damage uh, nine life steal, eight damage shield, which is not a good not a lot of synergy there, but you're gonna say you shouldn't play all those morsels yet, but it would have been too late, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of thought about that after I looked at this, but if I didn't play them, eh, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, he's dead, so I'm just not going to do anything. 
Hey, Super Laser Games, thank you for the host. Appreciate that, my friends. Okay. Wow, our main carry didn't actually kill. Ooh, Soul Siphon's nice. Uh, the Ember Drain's not bad if I can get hold over on this intrinsic Perils of Production I have. You can consume spell to the top of your draw pile. Soul Crushing Guilt. Infused, extract three, apply days three to unit, and move to the back. Move it to the back. It's actually pretty useful to be able to take frontliners and put them in the back. So that's pretty expensive, though. Basically, extract two with this being infused. Um. How much do we need to move big guys to the back? We have quick on a guy that gets pretty big. It would be better if this. He was able to kill the frontliners with his, uh, what's it called, trample low health first. I'm just not sure if that's worth a slot. What do you all think? Is this worth a slot? Guild helps up the top floor divinity if you can draw in time. Set up top floor divinity. That's one thing to think about is the divinity thing. Um, how am I going to set up divinity? Because sweep means I don't really can't really play the morsels on the top floor, right? So I got to. I probably need to get one more capacity and set up middle floor. Unless I can get a capacity card. Because I really need draw. It's also great with double stack, one mana, six days. Uh, my main worry is the extract three. That's a lot. Because does double stack apply to the extract as well? Because that would be extract six. Does that really work? Does, does double stack apply to the extract keyword as well? I'm just going gonna, gonna to take that. Because I can completely infuse one floor with it. I don't really need Ember. This is pretty good. Double stack doesn't affect extract. Okay. I mean, adding extra morsels doesn't do much for me because we don't have any other units we're trying to buff. Unless I want to set up a second floor. I might need a second floor, honestly. That's what's good about extract cards, two separate resources, okay. I'm honestly wondering if my one floor I'm trying to build around is going to be big enough quickly enough. I feel like I need some other way to buff this faster. And I don't know that any of these do that. I have pretty good embers, so that's not terrible. But I mean, it gives us a bunch of morsels that are kind of worthless. I don't know, man. What uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for here? Uh, is this thing that gives us a buff one time? Yeah, this gives us a, a buff for one fight. Units are basically free. Enemy units have less attack. Days when an enemy enters your train. Um... We actually have plenty of Ember for our units. Days 1 is okay, but we're not really setting up on the bottom floor. We're pretty much setting up on the top floor. Could I set up on the bottom floor? I don't think we can clear the first wave of enemies on the bottom floor. I think I'm just going to make them do less damage for one fight. It's fine. Is there ever a reason to not take that? I can't... Is there ever a reason to like skip that? I'm not sure. Man, I want to look for holdover, but I also want removal. And none of the removals on a Merchant of Magic anymore. Merchant of Steel. I fully upgraded this guy, so it would only be my Morsel Maker that I'd be upgrading. Uh, 
Well, another way we scale, though, is if I get hold over on this so I'd be get three rage a turn so maybe I do look for hold over more than removal I think hold over might be more important than removal right now I think because our units were guaranteed to set up by turn two right one thing I am worried about is if anytime I draw morsel maker before crucible collector does that make me unable to set up my floor I think it does. So I don't know if there's any counter to that. Um, I don't know if there's any way to counter that. I'm going to do this to look for the holdover. Holdover does not exist. <laughs> This playable at zero ember. Um, do I want to remove consume on anything? This is interesting. The ember drain won't matter once I get the holdover, right? They'll have three ember every turn. I mean, we are playing the Consumed Seraph, so that's something to think about. But I feel like we might have enough infusions. I mean, we are extracting a lot, though. We have two guys extracting for health. I didn't take that one that extracts to um, days and move a guy to the back, though. So maybe we're not extracting enough for that to be that useful. So I'm going to not do that. Hold over, hold over, hold over. Come on, man. Four times we've missed on hold over. Four stinking times. Uh, do I want to consume a plank? Again, we're playing a boss that's going to consume. Uh, do I have anything to want to double stack? Let's give Rage 6, Ember Drain 4. But I needed Holdover, so double stack this. If I did double stack and minus cost, does that work? I think that might actually work. Uh, actually, I don't think it is. Double stack the armor, though. That's interesting. Four armor per thing there. I'm going to want to get minus cost on that next. Explore. Again, if we go Merchant Magic, we don't get Unstable Vortex. Oh, man. All right, uh, let's get our infusion here. You've got a lot of attacks, and we got you're gonna have trample, and you got quick. So we just need you to not die, is the thing. We need him to scale quickly and not die. I can't believe we can't find holdover though. Okay, okay. So that will double the amount of life steal he gets, and the fuel. But it's really the life steal. So he'd gain two life steal per guy he eats. He's multi striking so much. Yes. Alright, we do have kind of a lot of cards. I think I just go for the holdover, honestly. I think I keep going to Merchant of Magic till I get holdover and not even care about removal until we get that. What a gorgeous unit! Oh no, the puns have been transferred over. Great. Yeah, what, are the, what are the things he's got? We play a non morsel unit. Okay. Alright. Nice. We take the Ember Drain. And we 
Without holdover, this is just kind of a dead card, man. We have all this ember that I can't spend. One thing about these two uh, clans is there's just not a lot of draw, man. There's just not draw. We're going to have the Ember Drain. Nothing I can do about that. Extra health. Okay. Man, I would love to infuse this floor, but if I do that, he's going to take four... He's going to take too much damage if I do that, so I don't think I can do that. Nice. I can get rid of the crap that they're going to throw in my hand at least, though. No crap, please. I'm going to have three Ember Drain next turn if I do this. Guy. Three Ember Drain. If I grab Perils, I can still play it. Uh, what is this? Play a non morsel unit. Okay, I'm gonna do this. And give a bunch of armor. Our guy's getting big. Hopefully it'll be enough. Oh man, now we have crap. We have, okay, ah, damn, we didn't get pearls of production. So we just take three damage, sadly. Now the Ember Drain's gone though, right? I'll be able to play the next one, the next two that I get. Take Ember Drain, I can kill this guy off. So I can do this. And this. Okay. Alright, that guy's getting pretty big. The question's gonna be does he get big enough fast enough for what we're trying to do here? That's the question. Do you get big enough, fast enough? Oh, we're actually doing some good damage to him. I could have just paralyzed a morsel. What's paralyzed? Paralyzed. Did you mean... Perils of production? Perilsed. Oh, perilsed. Okay. Um, yeah, that's true. And I wouldn't have had the uh, Ember Drain. You're right. You're right. My bad. That would have been the better play for sure. So we'll do that this turn. Um. Okay. Okay, everything's hitting him. All right. Play non -morsel. This is a morsel unit. I'll just play this here. Maybe we'll... I don't think there's any units I can feed that to. Okay. Now we have some pretty darn good damage going on here. Pretty darn good. Are you full up here? Yes. Um... There goes the free 150 damage on every 150 damage and everything. Yeah. Okay. Sure, have some rage. He's up to 144 th times three. It's pretty good. I just don't. Oh, again, I don't know that that's enough. That's enough damage. He'll get one attack in if I do this, right? Five old damage, beautiful. I mean, he's got 50 lifesteal, so as long as he doesn't get one shot, he's gonna just 
be full health all the time, so there's that. Oh my god, did I just take three damage for no reason? Damn it, I did. I just took three damage for no reason. It's fine, it's fine, it's my tax for bad play. Hashtag grand plays, that's right. Um, four X reaped enemy units. Another trample. Wow. We're not doing eggshells. Is this good for us? Backline damage. I wonder if it's worth putting trample on another unit. I don't know that it really is. This guy's attack is okay, but it's really all about buffing our one dude. Double trample doesn't do anything. I think this is a skip, unless worm can spike is worth. It's an infusion, and it's a consume spell. Four times reap. We're not really doing a reap stacking build. I feel like that's a skip. I need card draw. But what I'm thinking about is... Last Divinity, if we don't get capacity here, and we try to set up on the top floor, his sweep is going to kill all my morsels, right? So, I feel like I need to go capacity set up floor two. Spike is okay for Seraph, but pretty met on Divinity, which would be a bigger problem at the moment. Yeah, it's the Divinity I'm worried about. I really need draw, but I actually think the correct play is to get capacity so I can set up on floor two. I don't think there's any way we scale quickly enough to set up on floor one, right? I think I think we have to do this. I think we just have to because of last divinity. All right, so we're still looking for hold over here. Because if I get hold over, I can stack the Rage and the Ember starting turn one, which helps her scaling as well. Top is really only possible with wing technology, but you'd have to protect the Chief and Morsel Maker potentially too, yeah. I mean, the one thing we do have to worry about is he's multi-striking on the middle floor too, but... Hopefully the Lifesteal would be enough to make up for that. And he's quick too, so he'd be killing a lot of dudes. Alright, so I think we go for the... 20 attack per thing here. So we're just, this is all about buffing our main guy with as much attack as possible. So with five things, that's a hundred attack. Yes, that's definitely what we're doing. All in on that. Um, can I have holdover, please? I really don't get holdover after this many things. I'm going to be so sad. I'm going to be so sad. I want this to not be unplayable when I have zero ember. So that'll be one cost for 10 to the entire floor. Even when there are zero echo things there. <laughs> If I get holdover, I can put double stack on this because the Ember Drain won't matter. But if I don't get holdover, then this is becomes even more unplayable because it's even more Ember Drain. <sighs> come on, holdover, come on. <laughs> That is six times we have missed on holdover, man. Six frickin' times. Unfrickin' believable, man. I have one more chance at it, and I just get no removal because of this. Looking for holdover. So unfortunate. I say unfair, but just unlucky. Chest 
Champion gains more to attack. Add a common or uncommon morsel unit to hand. Pyre gets 15 attack. Um, champion plus 50% attack is not good. If it was 50% health, it would be not bad. Extra morsels. I mean, this will allow this to stack faster. You know, against Last Divinity, that might be good. The earlier we get that thing, the earlier we kill off stuff that helps us, helps counteract the slowness of our scaling, I feel like. But this helps deal with leakage. So if I think I'm going to leak some, there's this. These morsels basically will do nothing except accelerate shadow box. And actually turn one having a morsel to absorb the ember drain top floor is not bad either. I kind of like accelerating this because I feel like we're going to be strong enough late game. It's the early game that things can get out of hand. I think I am going to take this. Hope that doesn't backfire. <laughs> All right. Can I find holdover in this frozen thing? I don't think so. Um, purge a card, gain a card. Purge a blink. Purge a train steward. Let's purge a plank. Alright. Rare Umbra, rare Wormkin. Where are the rare Wormkin cards? Anything that gives me draw. Uh, Unearthed Remains would be good. I passed on one of those earlier. Returning Consume Spells. Interesting. Um, Umbra we're looking at. More Ember. Trigger Feeding is good. Multi-Strike would be good. Alright, there's some good ones in here too. Um, extra Multi-Strike. Let's go for Umbra. <laughs> I could have I could have a third trample. I don't need another trample. Thanks for the 10 gold. Oh my god. Three tramples in a single playthrough. Who would have thunk it? Do I want to permafrost anything? What if I permafrost the second perils? That way I can wait to play it on a boss fight or a turn where I just need extra ember. Or primal dust, prismal dust, I should say. Time that when we have a crap ton of ember, if there's ever a turn when we have like both our perils. Uh, yeah, let's do this. This could be a timely thing to save us, I feel like. No, I'm not going to get Trample on my Morsel Maker. The five damage Trample does not sound too good. What do you mean, five? It's going to be five times the plus 20 per thing. I just think that clogs up, up the deck. Spell Shield. Do I care about Spell Shield? Means our Plinks are less useful. It blocks our Proclamation. Um, and it blocks Ancient Resonance, but it's 400 gold. You're enchanting for multi-strike with 6 health. I get a couple of infusions on you. Hmm, 400 gold. Puts this at 780 for the last floor of upgrades. Which all I'm looking for would be, um, again, just holdover, I think. Uh, this is scary because I feel like Plink could actually do... The, the two upgraded Plinks and 
Ancient Resonance can actually save us from some multi-strike guys. I do have Quick as the thing, though. I do have Quick on our front guy. If he gets big enough, quick enough. He'll be able to attack, and it won't matter that they have multi-strikes. I'm gonna go for it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it live. Okay. This is great. This, get, this means we get to eat up the thing here. Okay. So you can do this. Do this. Do this. Man, this intrinsic perils of production. If I if I don't get hold over, this is just it's such a dead card, man. Look at all this ember I can't spend. Why can't I spend all this ember? Yeah. Our setup is pretty quick though. We get two turns. We get we get set up to get set up in two turns, which is great. Do I want the extra morsel? Over just doing the reap here. So I have this morsel, I think I am just going to do well. Oh, that was a one damage, so it didn't kill it anyway. So I don't get an extra morsel, so I'm stupid. Yeah, it's fine. We definitely don't want to extract here. 290 health. Oh my gosh, we I don't think have scaled quickly enough here. We're gonna be we're gonna be leaking some here. Okay, we did get our trample though. Oh! We did scale enough. <laughs> Our morsels each do 40-something damage. <laughs> Pretty freaking good, honestly. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. The morsels are helping with scaling. I did not expect that, uh, to be honest. Uh, yeah, triggers on tap. Okay. Is there any way you ever live? I don't think so. okay. You never heard the gold hoarder taking damage without dying. <laughs> well, now you have. Now you have. Now you have. Um, okay. Give Ember Drain to all of our friendly units. What I can do is just place this on a floor like this. And the Ember Drain we don't worry about, and that's just infusions that are pretty useful. If I do Reap, will you die? Yes. Yes. Um, and what I'd really like to do is just have all of my floors fully infused. Since you kill everything and you go up in health, Just infuse as many floors as possible here. Protect our health as much as possible. Okay. All right, what is our guy up to? 125 times three? Okay, that's pretty good. Can I start raging you now is the question. Die for that. Okay, so all of our floors are fully infused. That's pretty nice. Um, I could do this and then get my damage shield set up. I think that's good. Okay. That's a lot of gorges, man. That is a lot of gorges. Okay, so that's not going to kill you. That'll kill you. Yo, 
have one damage shield. If I do this, you'll get to attack once. Five extra damage. So are you aware that there are monsters on your train? Also, hi, Ren. What's up, Ren? How are you doing, my friend? I am aware. I am. Thanks for telling me, though. <laughs> I am quite aware. Thank you very much. If I reap my own guy. So... Does reaping a morsel, does, does reap happen before? It's after the combat, reap happens after combat. I think we have enough to win. I kind of want to test. I want to test if reap happens before gorge. I think eating happens after. I want to check it though. So... The thing I don't care about losing is health so much. So if he's going to grab... So I should see this plus 12 change if reap happens before. Although reap... Be one damage per... That wouldn't be enough to kill you, would it? No, reap two. So it'd be two times four, so it'd be eight. So his his health should go down. Should only go up by six if that works. Okay, I think... I think Eaton happens before reap. Let's run this in slow motion here. Triggers one damage, just won't damage him, so I can just play that out. Let me slow this down. So I should see four Edens here. So, which means he would get eight extra life steals. He's at 25. So eight extra life steals would be what? 32 life steals. So if he goes to 32 life steal, then we know that Eden happens before Reap. I saw two health things go up. 29, 30, 31. Okay, I had even more life steal than I thought it would. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure Eden happens before Reap. Could you all tell? That's what it looked like to me. I believe Eden happens before Reap. So, cool. All right, uh, return a spell card from the discard pile to your hand. Apply infuse, minus one cost, and consume. Infuse, consume, return a consume spell to the top of your draw pile. I actually have some decent consume spells here. And against the consume seraph, I think this actually is pretty useful. I'm going to take this. The champion got the killing blow. All right. Uh, 30 damage to the front enemy unit. Minus capacity plus ember. Where's my plus capacity? The one time I had plus capacity, I had to choose a unit, I think. I think it was the turn I got the guy infused into this guy, the alloy construct. Damage shield one. And morsels. Two cost for one damage shield doesn't seem that good. Especially when we're quick. Oh, man. All right, so I think the only thing I look for here is holdover, right? I think it's just holdover. Um, what Would there be anything worth duplicating? Is there anything that's a buff that we'd want to duplicate? The shelter for extra armor, maybe? The permafrosted prismal dust wouldn't be bad. And that's uh, that's got an infusion in it, so that would give us 105 shards. Yeah, I mean, the only other way we scale is if we get holdover. Please, 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 please hold over. No holdover yet. Oh. 
Let me see what's in here first. Oh man, there's capacity on the middle floor, so I wouldn't have even needed this other thing. Well, I've already done it, so... Um, I wonder... Would this make up for if we draw... Morsel Maker before Crucible Collector, because that's the worst possible scenario, right? If we draw him first, that means... Actually, I think that's still okay, because he doesn't... He doesn't summon them until after the combat, right? Now he would after combat. If I got Morsel Master or Morsel Maker turn one and not Crucible Collector, I play him and my boss. That's four capacity. He does summon them after the combat. So that's three, four, plus the four he summons is eight, seven, eight, nine. My worry is if that happens, if I draw him turn one and not him turn one, I have to get all the way back around to my deck, I think, to be able to play this. Does this protect against that? I'm not. I, I think it's one capacity short, but I'm gonna take it. Uh, apply reap one to a random enemy unit twice. I don't know that that's super useful. Oops. All right, let's uh, let's roll for holdover. I think that was eight chances to find holdover, and we had like double stack and permafrost and every single thing else but that. That is so unlucky, man. I think that's the most times I've looked for Holdover and not found it ever. It's insane to me. Oh my god. That's 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 kind of backbreaking because I kind of think I need to remove um Perils of Production now. Like, I don't think these cards are valuable enough now. I think I just spend gold to remove them. Like, turn one, I don't even want this now because I have all this ember I can't use. Golly, that's so messed up. I cannot believe we couldn't find that a single time. Uh, I was thinking about duplicating... Would it be worth, be worth duplicating this guy? I have some extra random morsels I keep getting, right? That I could feed to him. The other one I was thinking about was... I can play them on morsels to gain ember. The problem is... I don't ever need Ember. Like, Ember is like m my only non-issue for most of these runs. It's all about drawing through my deck. There's only two X cost cards that get value out of that for. I guess since it gets consumed, I don't really need to remove them. We are getting extra morsels a turn. I think I actually do duplicate that. Unless there's something in here. I No, that's just gold. So... Okay. Uh, you know what? This also makes it more likely that I'm going to get him turn one. It might make it that I don't get this until turn three. But I think increasing the chance that we get this guy before this guy is really important. So I am going to do that. Okay. Let's re-roll and see what's in here. Because I don't think this is worth doing. It is some damage, but I feel like there's stuff we could get that would be better. <laughs> Spells after upgrade slot. Draw. Yes, we need draw. 
Uh, consume for magic power doesn't seem that good. Okay, so I think it's just removal then. Spell upgrade slots, is there anything I want to put either of these on enough that that would be worth the gold? I don't think so. Okay, so let's purge. Yeah, we haven't even gotten rid of our other train stewards. Um, the Plinks will be consumed by the Seraph. Train stewards are basically a consume spell. I think I get rid of the intrinsic perils of production. Although now that I have draw, it's a little less bad. Now at least I have a little bit of draw. How often is that? I mean, it's since I don't since I don't have holdover, it just feels bad. Yeah, it's consumed Seraph. I guess with intrinsic. I can consume this turn one. I think maybe it's one train steward, one plank. We'll just do that. Actually, I should do both train stewards. I can do one more with a plank here, probably. All right, uh, and we can do this, which we can make this last one do more damage. Why not? Okay, I think our build's strong. I'm just not sure if it's strong enough for the divinity. All right, just not sure. I think I think we are, but I'm not 100. percent Um, for this fight, do you want to practice set up, setting up on floor two? Does she summon extra units on a floor? Because if she does, I want to set up on the top floor. Yeah, let's set up on the top floor. I think that's right. She summons the multi-strike bird. Okay. What did I consume on this turn? I don't even remember. I meant to consume this. I consume plank. Actually, that's great. That's fine. See, look at look at how much I don't need this extra ember. <laughs> at least on turn one, anyway. Uh, 40 times 3 is 120. Let's go ahead and apply the reap here, I think. I think she summons a multi-strike bird. I think she can summon. Yeah, she, it's not multi-strike. It's just the light wings. So, yeah. Okay. Do I want to consume the echo infusion? I actually don't think I want to. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make use of that, putting that on him. Probably not. I, uh, I, I uh, duplicated that guy. Yeah, I think he just dies here anyway, so it's probably not worth. Okay, that floor is looking good. I, th I thought having a second floor to set up might be useful. Um, might as well have Trample on you, I guess, on the second guy there. Okay. I thought he would be the most useful thing to uh, copy because it would give me a better chance to draw him turn one. 
Not sure if worked, but it's pretty useful. Okay. All right, everybody's dying. It's a good thing. It's a definitely a good thing. I'm getting self mutilations every time because we're sitting up on the top floor, but we're on death. One day we'll be able to use our, our prismal dust. And we're scaling pretty well. Um. Okay. Oh, this could be really nice. You hit something? Actually... Well, that was not the guy I thought you were going to kill. Cool. Um, okay. How many damage shields? I could get, like, four. Let's go ahead and do this. Reckon if Sarah visits the top floor two more times, I just win. Oh, is she already taking some damage? Uh, she's not taking much yet. What could we draw that would be useful to be zero? Uh, actually, there's a couple that would be pretty useful. Okay. Hey, Jitterbug for the nine months. What's up, my friend? Twitch baby, that's right. Twitch baby. I still hear that term. Definitely still hear, hear that term. I appreciate it, man. Hope you're here. Hope you're surviving, sir. You were having a good one. Well, do I want to get all this ember drain? It means I wouldn't be able to play anything next turn except zero cost things. Basically guaranteed to get at least one vengeful shard, so... Let's just not play those. Again, those cards are kind of becoming unplayable pieces of crap. Unless I play them on... I guess I can play them again on these, on these guys. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Well, actually, she's stealth, so she's not. I'm not going to be able to start doing damage to her yet. But we are doing... Our reaps are actually doing pretty good damage to her, which is pretty nice. You're just working looking forward to a long weekend. Nice. I'm doing well. When I'm not streaming, I've been playing WoW. I've been Shogi's gotten me back into the WoW uh, addiction, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, do I consume this? Probably consume the fracture. Super useful. 35 will be 115. But I think the health is worth that. We should be able to reinfuse you. Uh, you could say that the cookie just came out of the oven, Jitterbug. <laughs> That's right, the cookie oven. That's what it is. Twitch cookie baby oven. What? Wow, I'm not. Do I have I gotten rid of all of my infused cards? Okay, I have a couple more. I need to be careful here. I need my infusions, so I need to stop extracting this floor. I think. Okay, that's great. Give me an infusion there. I think you have enough health. 16 times 3. How many... How many... Have 4 damage shields. 47 times 3. I'm actually a little bit worried. Uh... 32... 48. 127 health. We're fine with 37 life steal. We're fine. What's up, Plunder Pig? Yeah, some casual monster train stream. It's great. It's great. Okay. 
maximize that. Damn it. That's fine. Do this. Get rid of that crap. That crap right there. I don't want to extract because uh, every charge echoes we lose is damage lost. So. All right. I think we're just good. Beautiful. He loses some health, but we're just good. So consume. Actually, let's do this. That, then that. That. And that. Okay. All right. Good fight against Seraph. We leak zero things. Now it's all about Last Divinity, which we set up on floor two. And maybe put the uh, second other guy on the top floor, but the sweep would kill any extra morsels we throw up there. I don't even know. Let's see if we can do divinity. Feel pretty strong. It's, you know, the one thing I'm worried about is if we scale quickly enough. It's the one thing. We have faulty loader for this first set of guys. So this is good. We we never once, since we've had the uh, this guy infused with the Morsel Maker, drew the Morsel Maker before this guy. I don't know if that's just we've won the 50-50 every time, or there's some mechanic I'm not sure at work there. One thing to consider, though, is that's going to be 7 times 2 damage. Gonna lose 14. And it's gonna take a turn to spin up. Uh, so he's gonna die next turn unless I like chump block with something. Uh, I can give him health. Okay, not 10 damage shields can help with that actually. Um. Actually, it's going to be even more than that. Okay, that's huge. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And we're going to do this. And we're going to give you 12 damage shields. That should buy us time here, I think. They're going to be gone in six turns, but hopefully by those turns we'll have enough health that we'll life steal through it all. You all have spell damage shields. You have spells. You have damage shields. So where do I even put you? Is there even a place where you're just not a completely useless unit? I don't think so. That just loses us charged echo there. Things are opening up a lot here in California way. Your company's even allowed people to walk around without masks if they choose to. Nice. These guys will all have Amber Drain if I play it on that floor. Spell Shield. You have hope. Uh, it's awesome to hear that you have some hope. Um... Man, so many Spell Shields on everything. I think I just allow you to die here and say you're kind of a waste to get, but it's fine. I can get rid of this spell shield, I guess. Maybe that will be useful. I'm not really sure. Anxiety and paranoia level is still up to here, but mildly hopeful. Well, I'll tell you, yesterday I went to the um, workout place in my, the, uh, what is it called? The fitness center at my apartment complex for the first time in a year. I don't have trample yet, do I? Oof. Okay, we're still killing almost everything, so that's good. 
Do I even want a, a thing at my top of my consume right now? I think I don't want that until I get trample in. He doesn't remove Reap, I don't think, right? He does not. Okay. I don't I don't think. I think he removes Frostbite, but I don't think he removes that. He dies, apply ten armor. So yeah, I don't want anything on top of my draw pile because all I want is trample on him right now. Right, how many damage shields do you have left? Uh, none. So... Oh, they're dying to spikes is what they're dying to, aren't they? Trample being the bottom four cards really sucks. This draw three guarantees I draw trample. Give me my trample. Beautiful. Now only one of them dies. Now if I give armor to all of them, none of them should die if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I could just kill a bunch of you. You'll get armor. I think that's better because none of them will have spikes. Beautiful. Um, this. 14 armor to everything. Good turn, man. Do we have enough for this guy? 175 times 3. 146 damage. How are these guys... How are my morsels doing so much damage? Oh, because we have so much infusion. <laughs> okay. Okay. My morsels are doing over 100 damage when we get these many... Uh, charge echoes on a floor. Oh my god, this is actually awesome. Um I even I don't even know if I want to ever extract anymore without this is doing. If he dies. Uh let's see here. I think I just infuse as much as I can every turn and don't care about extracting for his health, right? Mm, the plus 10 health might actually be worth. Let's do that. Okay, killing blow. You'll get the killing blow, so it shouldn't give you anything, right? Yeah. All right, how much damage are we doing to you? 639. It's looking good, man. Looking good. Bum, 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 bum. Right, we can get rid of the damage shield on all these guys. Or a spell shield, I should say. Give you health. Oh, he is removing the reaps. They, they must have changed that, because I'm pretty sure they didn't used to do that. I think reap used to be different than... Uh, whatever frost is called. Ember drain, play a spell after combat, so you can do this and don't think we'll get any armor or anything. Okay. Okay. Looking good, man. Looking good. All right, we don't get through because the spikes. Is there any way I can do better than that? We do have an encant to give you more armor. If 
I got just a couple that would be really good. The um, armor, maybe? The HOA gym has been closed since last March. They're slowly opening it up now. Very nice. Spell shield's gone. I do get to choose. Okay. Just give armor to everybody. Seems really good. You're still dying somehow. It's probably from the spikes. There we go. I just needed you to do enough damage to get through so that you didn't take the spikes. Oh, and we draw that anyway. Perfect. So, this, this, armor. 1296 damage we do to that guy. Oh, man. You have to reserve a spot in your HOA gym. Okay, how do we do no damage? Oh, because we have freaking sweep, man. Damn. Um, so 163 times 3. I just need you to do enough damage to kill her. Problem is the only way I have to infuse more attack gets canceled by spell shield, so. It's only my it's only those guys that die. Okay. I don't think it's worth extracting two to do that. I don't want to give you extra health at the cost of damage, so... Put a spell, put a spell, okay. Oh, okay. That's an infusion, at least. Ha <laughs> ha! We did it! Did it! Now they don't even die. We get 651 damage. Right, he's dead next turn. Maybe. I mean, if we get through freaking 20 chunky units. No, like, yeah, relentless. 337. Okay. All right, let's see here. Dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Frickin' did it, man. GG cookie time, everybody. G frickin' G. All right, our first Covenant 25 victory using uh, Wormkin. And honestly... Wormkin feels really strong. Wormkin feels really strong. Like, early game felt really good. Took a bit in the middle. Turns to get our floor set up, but... Like, I don't think our health ever got below, like, 60. Wormkin feels strong. I'm not sure if we, um... Divinity Golded anything, though. Hey, Pie Boy's catching up in Covenant ranks. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we actually got any Divinity Golded cards there. But good score, nice. So the goal right now is to try to get Wormkin combos all Covenant twenty five victories now. So I want to try this guy, the Echo Right. Maybe we can do some sort of consume thing with, I don't know, Stygian or something. What's up, Nietzsche? How are you doing, sir? But uh, before we do another run, I'm going to stand, stretch, stand up, stretch, use the restroom. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the Monster Train. It's always a blast to play this game. I got a win on my first try. It's been like two weeks since this happened. But quick stand up, stretch break. When we come back, we'll do another run. Y'all rock. See you in just a bit, my friends.